Here comes my cat. Also, look at that. She's not wearing glasses today. Does that mean she's feeling better or she got better at her makeup? We will never know. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Moony Things, where I talk about books and things. And today, for book chats, we have part two of that video I posted that got quite a bit of attention, I mean, compared to like what the videos I mostly post on my channel. And that is, should we be supporting problematic romances? Now, if you haven't seen that video, what I talk about there is basically allowing people to enjoy their kinks within the realm of fiction and I talked about that from an adult perspective because guess what? I know it doesn't seem like it from the way I act or the way I look but I actually am an adult. So I added a little bit of a point at the end of that video talking about how yeah this was coming from an adult, an adult perspective and expecting that most of the people that like watch my videos are adults and seeing from my stats I see that most of the people are 18 to 24 which I'm kind of happy about because I don't think I make content for kids. One of the things that I talked about in that video is that we are willing to overlook things that are really problematic in reality like murder for example or backstabbing or I don't usually murder like I'm like ooh, we are gonna stick to murder. Hang on, you. this wasn't supposed to be here. But anyway, um, yeah, I was talking about murder and how we're willing to read about characters murdering each other for revenge or, you know, stuff like that and we find character deaths really not that problematic. And it got me thinking as to why. Why is it that things like problematic romances or slave turned lover situation which you know that I'm here for anybody that wants to read these kinds of things here's why I think people have an issue with that and it's not because of them being written into books and with the upcoming release of Midnight Sun by Stephanie Mayer I think that this is something that should be talked about because she writes YA books YA books are aimed at an age range of 12 to 18, I think. Yeah, it's usually 12 to 18, which that is not young adult, but that's another video for another day. But here's the thing, getting to the meat of it. I think people get so upset over kinky romances or you know problematic romances that people enjoy or parts in books that have problematic issues from the word go we're taught that murder is wrong we're taught that um vengeance is wrong we're taught that all of these like problematic here comes the cat Kat wants you to know that she endorses everything i say so anyway getting back to it we're taught that all of these things are wrong but nobody talks to us about what a healthy relationship looks like and I think that that is the issue when it comes to problematic romances and why people get so upset at the idea of having a problematic romance in books especially YA books but it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter because <laughs> young readers read adult books all the time let's be honest I mean the line is so blurred at this point that unless you are a kid you know you can still read adult books and adult books have problematic romances in them and they have things that we are not taught about nobody nobody like even today people don't know what consent looks like People today don't even know what a healthy argument or how to steer a healthy relationship. And I, 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 of course I don't mean nobody, but you know, most people don't because we are never taught that. In fact, we are taught that sex is bad, sex is evil, uh, don't do it until you're married, and don't get pregnant. That's it. That's, that's the extent of our like sexual education. So where do we turn to to learn about these things? We turn to fiction. We're gonna talk about Jane Eyre, okay? We're gonna talk about Jane Eyre because I think this is like kind of 
a, a good place to go because it's not YA and it's not overly like out there how this is like super problematic and yet it is problematic and a lot of us learn about romance and especially women through Jane Austen and let me tell you I have seen Jane Austen movies I haven't read her books yet we're getting there we're getting there I'm still waiting to read Emma but a lot of the romances in these books are problematic so but they're painted in a non-problematic way and that's another thing that sometimes these books paint these romances as problematic and not right like for example flowers in the attic which i did talk about in my last video they know that what they're doing is wrong but for example in jane Eyre, ee, like it's kind of out there whether it's it's wrong or not wrong but the point is people go th to these things to learn about relationships and to learn about sex and even as a teenager it's okay for you to have kinks but the thing is the problem here is since we don't have anybody to kind of say yeah man it's okay for you to enjoy reading flowers in the attic but this is not okay or it's okay for you to idolize mr darcy but mr darcy kind of solves elizabeth benton's problems with money and lying and you know these things are not okay in the real world but we don't have anyone to tell us that when we are young and even when we are older so what happens is is we create a very wrong idea of what romance is and that's something that i didn't touch on in my previous video about this and that's why i wanted to make a part two the problems are not the books. The problem is not me enjoying that Jason and Clary might be brother and sister. That's not the problem. The problem is when nobody teaches you that these things are probably not okay in the real world. And some people don't have anybody to talk to about that. I was lucky enough that I grew up in a household where I learned what a healthy relationship looked like and not only that but I was also lucky enough to go through therapy when I went through an abusive relationship that I romanticized before and where did I get that idea that bad boys can be reformed and you know turn into Prince Charming if I just tried hard enough Disney Disney is a lot of people's first step into what romance is and Disney is hella problematic and I'm talking hella 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 problematic we're talking Twilight has got nothing on this shit and nobody teaches us otherwise and I'm not saying that if you enjoy Cinderella or Beauty and the Beast that you are a bad person what I'm saying is that there are problematic romances in these stories and yet these are the stories that were taught to us to be the epitome of romance. And I think this is why people get so upset when readers in general are okay with problematic romances in book. And I, I hope it's not because we're kink shaming because... Get over it. Get over it. Just because somebody doesn't share your personal kink doesn't mean that you have to go after them. Now, as far as YA goes, how do I feel about YA authors putting problematic and borderline abusive relationships into their books? I don't think we can blame the authors of fiction books for the job that is supposed to be done at our schools and within our home i think the problem with this is that we don't have an open line of communication with adults about relationships and that also sadly the generation that comes even my generation doesn't understand simple concepts of healthy relationships and sex healthy sex healthy relationships these things are lost on the majority of people so where do teenagers go where where do they find these things 
sadly in books and movies and I do say sadly because it is not the job of authors and directors and script writers to educate you about sex and relationships that comes from another place and that place is the place that we need to tap into we need to be open with teenagers we need to allow them to be able to express themselves we're just leaving teenagers out there to figure shit out on their own that's what upsets me really that's out of all of this whole thing is that we have a great deal of misinformation and miseducation and as as an educator myself there's nothing that upsets me more than finding the fact that so many people are uneducated about things they should be educated about i mean just the fact that we can take our kids out of school because we don't want them to learn about different kinds of sex including like not only heterosexual sex but homosexual sex and other kinds of sex that you are allowed to enjoy as long as everybody is consensually having fun and that we don't know what consent looks like because nobody teaches us and that the whole he bugs you because he likes you thing is still a thing and that we have to talk to kids about fairy tales and about Disney movies we really need to have a conversation with children and, and adults and anybody that likes these kinds of things we really need to because that conversation is not being had and that's where the problem is it's not the fact that Disney makes these movies is that Disney makes these movies and nobody talks to kids about why they're incorrect and why idolizing them for your own real life is wrong alright I get enjoying Cinderella I love Sleeping Beauty and Sleeping Beauty is like such a bad concept of consent you know and, and we're not even gonna go into Beauty and the Beast. We're not. I'm not gonna do that. But the point is, it's okay to enjoy them and it's okay to enjoy kinky books and it's okay to enjoy smutty romances where you know that what is happening is not right and it shouldn't. But because you know it's not right, okay? <laughs> I hope that that wasn't too like preachy or whatever. I just really needed to get that out there we need to educate our people better not just our children but our adults and we need to talk about adults about how to broach the subject not only of sex but of romance of relationships with kids so that then we can all enjoy kinks in a healthy safe manner and that's about it for everything I had to say. <laughs> I I hope that uh, yeah, I, like I said, I hope it wasn't too preachy, but I just get I don't know, I get really riled up about this subject because I worry, I worry about kids, and I want them to be happy and to be safe above all. And I also kind of get upset when people hate on other people for liking kinky things when it's like hey i get that this is not cool in real life but here you are reading a book about a murder machine or whatever and you're fine with it so why can't i be fine with my kink well here's why it's because we're taught from early on that you can't stab people but apparently nobody can talk to us about what consent means or the fact that you can't that you can't turn a bad boy into a good guy or that you can't turn a cheating person into a non-cheating person and that's a whole other talk but yeah i hope you enjoyed this book talk i hope that i did it justice because i was really looking forward to doing it and if you have any comments please leave them down below if you disagree with me i'm totally cool with that as long as we can have an adult conversation about it and if you agree with me, well, let me know if you agree with me. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you that comes here. Like, it really warms my heart that I'm not just talking to the void. And I just as a reminder, I post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And now I might start posting on Sundays too. 
we'll see how that goes because you know I usually like to rest on Sundays but there's this thing called um, Sunday 7, 7 Sunday I'll link the Goodreads group down below and it was like top 5 Wednesday and I really miss top 5 Wednesday so I think I might partic be participating in 7 Sunday so we'll see we'll see if you see a video from me up on Sunday then you know that I decided to break my non posting on the weekends rule to post on Sunday um, which I still have no idea what's gonna be because I'm kind of winging it like I always do that works out real well for me it's really fun when uh, on uh, Sunday night I'm like scrambling to get videos on <laughs> but I will because you trust me to get videos up so I'm gonna do it for you. Anyway, <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, oh, look at my earrings. Aren't they cool? I kind of look how I look today. Also, we're we're back to fuck you weather, and I'm gonna take this sweater off now because it was cold in the morning. But now it's time for a t-shirt. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>